Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's Ascension Messages for June 21st through 24th, 2021. I had to think there for a second. I am extremely tired right now. I just got off work. My hair looks a hot mess. I apologize, but we're going to get through this anyway. So, I was told to tell you guys that there is Mars energy right now. I have absolutely no idea what that means, but I know that when... I am reading cards and the Mars energy comes out. It's about anger and conflict. And I was told exactly that before I was told the Mars energy. That there was going to be some conflicting energy. There's going to be waking up angry and not understanding why you're angry. Or feeling a little bit flustered or whatever and not understanding why. Nick and I do this every once in a while. We don't ever know why. And it just is what it is. Just go with the flow. I, I can't I can't tell you uh, why it's going to happen, but it, it may happen for some of you. Maybe not all of you, but it may happen for, for a lot of you. Anyway, so the first card that came out as I was shuffling was New Opportunities, which is uh, the Green Adventurine, a number five card. Five is about positive change and transformation, but this is about new opportunities in the heart chakra. But I got a couple different things with this. So... Of course, this could mean new opportunities in many different ways for everybody. It'd be different. One, two, three, look that up on Sacred Scribes. But um, for some of you, this was talking about, uh, some of us have been praying a lot about uh, their partner and communication problems or differences of opinions or whatever it may be. And there is a new start when it comes to um, I feel like it's like flipping the script. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but flipping the script like maybe one person starting to do what the other person used to do and vice versa so that they can get a taste of their own medicine and understand where each other is coming from and I'm, I'm kind of getting like a, a it looks like a um yeah reverse roles okay a flip of the script is what I feel like is getting is what they're showing me yes they're saying but anyway uh new opportunities when it comes to for some of you romance uh and or the relationship that you're already in there's some sort of flipping the script, okay? Whatever that means for you. Uh, do I keep going with this card? Thank you. What other messages do you have, please, for June 21st through 24th, 2021? Am I supposed to take both of those? Okay, so the very next card that came out is Problems Resolved, which is Lapis Lazuli. This is also a third eye and throat chakra card. And instantly, I feel almost like a burning in my... Uh, throat. So this may be referring to throat clearing as well as heart clearing. When the two of them come together, it's a powerful thing anyway. But um, communication problems, if there's communication problems, there's almost always problems that's going to happen with the heart. People get upset. They get sad. 303, look that up on Sacred Scribes. But um, this is about problems being resolved, communication problems in general. But I do still feel like there's going to be a, a, somebody... Maybe both parties getting a taste of their own medicine. Yes, I hear. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wish for that, seriously, because I understand how that can be. Uh, anyway, Kunzite, which is about uh, children and the third eye and heart chakra. So this is the second second card that's came out about the heart chakra. And I'm not really getting anything off of this card, but it's referring to your children. It may be uh, referring to... They're saying, yes, communication problems that may be arising or starting to solve be, because of what you're doing to heal those things. That, okay, they're saying even in the children, with the children, there's going to be a flip of the script. So it's almost like 404. You can also look that up on Sacred Scribes. It's almost like they're going to have to go through some sort of uh, shift to, to be able to see and understand what you're saying as well as you be able to see and understand what they're saying. Yes, they're saying. Now, of course, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. But anyway, I was told to go to these cards. The uh, Starseed deck. That was super quick. Am I supposed to take that? The season Mentaka is about seeing potential, bringing the unconscious to light. And again, I feel like this is referring to people seeing things the way that other people do. It's almost like... Uh, if you can think about switching bodies with some somebody and seeing from their perspective, that's how things are going to start to be. But it's going to be you seeing from your, your own perspective, but seeing it their way, if that makes sense. I hope I'm saying that right. I 
I also feel like this is referring to somebody or maybe more than one somebody who who is uh, starting some sort of entrepreneurship, some sort of business adventure by yourself. I feel like it's saying that there's a lot of things that's coming up that maybe you, you didn't see yet um, that you need to put time and energy into. So pay attention to whatever those things are. Yes, they're saying. And something to do with keeping books, okay? I've been told to do this lately, so maybe it's referring to me also, but something to do with bookkeeping. Make sure that you're keeping good books. And, and I know that's referring to, like, accounting. Yes, they're saying. Yes. And this is also referring to several people who are writing books or some sort of literature. And it's talking about... Okay, some of you who may not be putting very much time and energy into that are not seeing what is going to happen for people if they're actually able to get a hold of this literature. So it's needing to be written, it's needing to be produced, it's needing to be edited, whatever it is that they do, 606. I'm one of those people. I've been hearing things about that as well. So I understand what that is, but it's, it's something about that as well. Yes, they're saying. What other messages do you have, please? For June 21st through 24th, 2021. Both of them? No more? Thank you. Okay, so... For some of you, you are a old soul. A very enlightened, uh, very intelligent, very connected being. Okay? From a different place. Some of you are star seeds. You are meant to... Uh, lead the way, light the way. It's also talking about seeing your light in um, many different places. Yes. So if you're being led to different places, make sure that you are uh, putting time and energy into going to those places, grounding your energy there, putting your light there is what they're saying. Yes, 7-Eleven. You can also look that up. But... Um, I feel like I'm missing something from this. Something... About the ancestors here. Hmm. I am not finding it. Okay, here we go. You are an ancient keeper of the stars, here to anchor and seize your light and to, in your unique way. You've likely been incarnated on Earth for some time, dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in a planet's evolution. We are at the tipping point now. The survival of Earth and all of its species is coming to a head. The more grounded you remain during this transitional period, the more helpful you'll be. The more you tend to be flames of your own heart, the more you'll anchor onto this planet. The wisdom of the stars is imprinted in your soul. The more soul fragments you call home, the more the wisdom is seated here. You may be called to be in different places in the world to anchor your light, perhaps by taking a trip or leaving, living in a certain location. You may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become and the less reactive human humanity will be. You're here for a double mission, to grow as an individual and as a part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Trust that you can be in the world and not of it and lead a truly glorious life. This is also a star portal, a star seed portal is what I just heard. So... Whatever that means. Okay, and then the next card that came out is a breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. So it's asking you not to try to force any kind of results. It's asking you to just, you know, take a step back, let happen what's happening. Uh, some of you just need to remove your hands from a situation in general. I don't know if that's referring to this business adventure that I'm talking about for some of you entrepreneurs or what. But some of you are just putting too much time and energy into something. It's asking you to back back away 
let the universe do what it needs to do, let the angels work their magic, something of that sort. Not to try to force your will on anything. Yes, they're saying. What cards do I go to now? What cards do I go to now? That's what I thought. Okay. What other messages do you have, please, for June 21st through 24th, 2021? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please. What other messages do you have? Thank you. The platypus says, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. This is just reminding us to stay grateful for all the things that are that we're going through, even the negative things or the seemingly bad things that we may be going through at this time. It's asking to give praise and to, you know, show gratitude by your actions of being joyful over the things that you have and, and enjoy having the things that you have, you know, uh, saying thank you. Telling people how blessed you are. You know, you don't have to tell them about all of your blessings, but just tell them that you're blessed. Don't be afraid to tell, share that with people. I'm pulling on my hair. What other, thank you. Ladybug, which is about good fortune, success, things coming to a head, I just heard. It says, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things into your life. 1122, guys. Not really getting any, any anything extra off of the ladybug. Is there any other cards I need, need to read today? Thank you. What other messages do you have, please, for June 21st through 24th, 2021? 20, for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please. What other messages do you have? June 21st through 24th, 2021. Trying to get this at my messages under 15 minutes so that I can share them on Instagram, but uh, I have a hard time doing that, <laughs> especially when the cards aren't wanting to come out. Okay, so the lion is talking about success or could also mean sudden shock about something, and I feel like this is a good sudden shock. So it was just referring to uh, Nick and I have been being challenged 1221. Uh, both vehicles are down now. Well, sort of, both vehicles are down, but we might as well say both of them are down at this time. We have a leak in the basement, so we have our carpet pulled back. One, two, three, four. Um, you know, it, it just, when it rains, it pours. You know how that stuff goes, but at the same time, we're remaining positive. We understand that this is probably just some sort of test or what have you. We know that we are going to be able to manifest what we need to, to create the changes. Anyway. But I was told there's going to be some sort of sudden shock. And, you know, I was already <clears throat> given a vehicle and that vehicle is having problems. But I, I'm even seeing something else coming with another vehicle. So this is what this was referring to. Sudden shock. Things that we don't think that are going to happen. Um, unexpected things are going to be happening to people. A tug and a pull from the universe. Tower moments. But a breakthrough on the other side, guys. I've had some definite tower moments this week, uh, <laughs> for sure, okay, with anger, with sadness, with feeling rejection, with a little bit of everything, with uh, hitting my hand on the stupid desk, trying to get a point across and, and just bruise myself instead, all that stuff. However, I, I feel the momentum happening. I feel like the upward climb is happening. You know, it wasn't for nothing. So it's it's reminding you guys, all of those things that are so challenging and, and even if you feel like you've taken two steps back when you have already moved forward and, you know, you feel like, man, I'm never going to get back to where I was. Well, they're saying the tower moments are coming for a reason, okay? There's still a little bit of stuff that needs to be looked at or what have you and you know just work through it just moment by moment day by day hour by hour whatever it is for you do that and um just do it with confidence okay confidence courage of the of the lion all right guys today's i am affirmation i am focused and persistent i will never quit that's the only one that we have for today. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. 1441. Look that up on Sacred Scribes and 1444. I hope everybody has a wonderful uh, evening. Much love. Bye.